Hello and welcome back to everyone. My name is Shivam Agarwal and this is AI in Machine Learning and Deep Learning project series in Python. This will be our fifth project. In the first four projects, we have built projects related to machine learning. Now we'll go on build projects related to deep learning. So this project is called Bank Customer Exit Prediction. So we'll take some data provided from a bank which is related to something uh, some credentials of the users that are customers of the bank and how likely are they to exit the bank okay by means of exit i mean that they are going to uh, stop their account in the bank so we'll look at the data set first then we'll do some uh, cleaning if required then we'll create a artificial neural network before this project we were creating something called as uh, machine learning models like logistic regression random forest support vector machine or knn but from now, uh, in this project, we'll use artificial neural network, also called as ANN, to create our model. Okay. Then we'll train, test, and predict the values. And finally, you can see a very new imp and important thing over here, that is deployment. So in the first four projects, we haven't deployed our project. So in this project, I have decided to create a, an application, or you can say a UI, to deploy the project. Okay. So we'll take some values from the user using some input boxes and we'll show the output to a user on a web portal. We'll see how to create a web portal in the third part of the series. This is the first part. In the second part, what we'll do is we'll create the neural network. We'll try to save the model. And in the third part of this series, we'll deploy our model. Okay, so that will be an interesting thing. The first two projects were just machine learning pipelines. The next two were including this prediction where we predicted the values taken from the user. Now we'll create a GUI interface. That is a UI for our project. Okay, we'll do it using Streamlit. It's a Python platform that we can utilize. So for now, let us visualize the data set that is present. So for this project, the major thing that I have to show you is deployment over here. So I've taken a very generalized data set. It is called Deep Learning A to Z ANN data set. This data set is about a bank which is investigating a very high rate of customer leaving the bank okay so we have some 10,000 records okay let us see what are those you can see there are 14 columns let me show all of them yeah you can see a row number that is not useful customer ID that is also not useful there's a surname that is the second name or the last name that customers use for identifying them there are 2,932 values out of 10,000 values. Okay. After this, you can see some useful variables. There are credit score of the customers. There's the geographical location. The geographical location is just three. France, Spain, and just one more, Germany. So there are three locations. There are not many locations. There are just three. France, Spain, and Germany. So we'll have to encode this value also. You know how to do this, but I'll show you how to do this in this uh, project also. Then we have gender, male and female, 55 and 45%. So we have uh, values for both of them quite nicely. Then we have age, tenure, that is how, from how long they are uh, customers of the bank. Then we have balance. We can see there are exceptionally large value for zero balance in the bank. Still, next we have number of products. We have whether they have a card or not, whether they are active member or not, that is represented by zero and one, right? Next is estimated salary. What is their salary that is estimated by the bank? And lastly, column is our output column that is exited or not. So zero means that they have exit and one means that they'll stay with the bank. You can see a large variation in these two values. However, creating an artificial neural network will be able to solve this problem to one extent. Okay, I'm saying that it will be able to solve this problem to one extent. It will not be uh, like uh, a very good model, but uh, yeah, it will solve this problem to some extent because there are, is the large variation of values between 0 and 1 in the final column. Okay, so we have this data set. We don't want these three values. Uh, I'll show you how to uh, remove all of them. But this will be our data set. We'll create an artificial neural network unlike before. This will be the deep learning project and not machine learning project. I, sh uh, I tell you that deep learning is an extension to machine learning where we use something called as Keras. Keras is a derivation of uh, TensorFlow, you might have already heard what is TensorFlow. We'll be using Keras for uh, developing this project. And next on, we'll try to deploy this project. 
once we have created the project i'll show you how to create a streamlit application by which you can deploy not just this project i'll tell you that i give you an assignment that after watching the deployment video you must create a deployment a platform for all the projects that i have told you before also there is a very easy step how to create streamlit applications and we'll uh, see how to uh, create the project in the next video itself let us meet then thank you